Hello everybody and welcome to my little guide on how to build Mazur Nouvellet, the newest character in Genshin Impact. Let's just jump straight into it. There are three main things you're going to want to pay attention to if you're just beginning. His normal attack, which happens to be that. He has a charged variant, which happens to be that, which consumes stamina. He does have a plunging attack, which does damage, not that you'll use it much. And when you fully charge it, as you can see a circle is forming, once you fully charge it, it unleashes this giant mega beam which will consume HP if you're not at this threshold range that I'm currently at right here. He has his elemental skill which will do slight Numa damage and Hydro damage. It will also spawn Source Water Droplets. So, when you hover over them with this charge attack here, it will instantly charge it instead of having you to hold on for such a long time instead. Everything will go into that little circle that pops up and you will be able to unleash the laser instantly, which that laser, funnily enough, happens to be what the majority of this kit revolves around. Then he has his elemental burst, which does AoE hydro damage as well as spawn six source water droplets. He can use those water droplets twice to shoot the laser. Fairly simple. So basically, the majority of his kit revolves around this thing and releasing that as many times as you possibly can because that is your main source of damage. One thing to keep of note. You'll notice that when you look at the talents more closely that although his normal attack and plunging attack are normal multipliers and they're normally affected by attack percent instead of by HP, the actual fully charged up charge attack with the circle and the big laser and everything that is based off of max hp you'll also find that is not the only thing that is based off of max hp his elemental skill and his elemental burst will also be scaled off of max hp he also has this talent which tldr it technically just means the closer you are to full hp the more damage you'll do in order to upgrade these talents in the first place, you're going to want to ascend him. He needs these Hydro Gems. This is the last variant. Of course, you're going to need the lower variants to get him up from level 0 to level 20, level 20 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, and so on. You're going to need the boss drops from the new Seahorse boss that came into this recent update. You're also going to need these starfish that can be found in the new region. They're fairly rare and 79 of them exist in each world. So gather as many as you can in your own world because it's going to take a bit for them all to come back. You're also going to need the xenochromatic crystal and the lower variants of this, which you can get by killing essentially any organisms that you could possibly find underwater. As you ascend this, you, of course, your base defense attack the HP percent will go up, as well as your crit damage. I just happen to be on the ascension that will actually upgrade your crit damage. As for his weapons, Prototype Amber is the best free-to-play option. There is a battle pass weapon that works really well because it gives him HP based on it, how long he is not on the field for. Prototype Amber fits relatively well because, like I said before, Nuvolet loves HP. So if you slap HP on him, he's going to do more damage. That and he's going to heal more with his water droplets and so on. He'll also regenerate a little bit of energy every single time he bursts. So that will solve more of his energy recharge problem, which we'll talk about a little more once we get into artifacts. For talents, he's going to want the guide to equity books. You'll find that in the town domains in Fontaine. 
As for his artifacts, time for the juicy stuff. You're gonna want Marachase Hunter. It increases normal and charge attack damage by 15%, and when the current HP increases or decreases, you can read. So essentially, when Nuvolet does that big mega laser that drains his HP and heals from the fact that the mega laser drains his HP with the water droplets, his crit rate will stack instantly three times the majority of the time. Meaning, you're essentially going to get 36% more crit rate just by putting this on him. As for what all these are, Feather is flat attack, Flower is flat HP. Short, sweet, simple. As for timepiece, cup, and helmet, you get a little bit of a choice in the matter. As for the cup, it can be HP percent, that does work. I currently have a Hydro Damage Bonus Cup because I happen to have one of those. That is what you're going to want your Nuvolet to have, but HP% percent will work decently fine if you don't have a decent Hydro Damage Bonus Cup. As for the timepiece, this little clock thing, you're going to want an HP% percent on this. If you're not running Prototype Amber, you may want to run ER on this. It is up to you. His burst is a little hefty when it comes to his entry requirements. However, if you have allies that give you a lot of particles or a lot of energy, you should be fine. HP% percent is what you want to go for if you really want him to do a lot of damage. As for his hat, ignore the bad subsets. You're going to want creator crit damage. Crit rate would work well because Nuvolet's crit damage is naturally very high. As for crit damage, it will just stack his already amazing stat. But you will need a lot of crit rate from your other artifacts. Then we get to his attributes. Where you want your Nuvolet to be. Typically you're going to want your Nuvolet to be over 30,000. Which makes sense because he's going to be having an HP timepiece. That's a threshold that's not going to be too hard to hit. As for his crit rate and crit damage, I'm going to give you a minimum crit damage amount and a maximum crit rate amount. Mostly because of the Mara Chussy set that I talked about earlier. The Mara Chussy set, because of how New Let's Kit works, automatically gives you 36% crit rate. So, if you really want to max out his crit rate, you should gear for 64% crit rate. That is if you want to max it out. As for crit damage, it should be over 150. I personally want this number to be higher, but I also need to w worry about my crit rate a little more so I can head a little deeper into the crit damage cap. There's one last thing you probably should worry about, and that's his ER. Many people say you should probably gear towards 140% recharge, especially if you have Prototype Amber or supports that happen to give you a lot of energy. 140 is typically a safe amount. My new bullet happens to be 10 short, but I haven't had too many energy issues. You'll just find more issues down the line if your supports don't give you a lot of ER. After all that, there's really nothing else for me to say about Monsieur Nouvellet. He's a great DPS, he hits like a truck, heals exceptionally well with his water droplets, and his kit is very snappy. It works really well, especially considering how many teams he works well with. This, however, was a guide on how to build him, not necessarily make a team comp for him. This was just to get you started on where you should be taking your new bullet. But yeah, with that being said, um, thank you for watching. Peace out.